Today I'm going to explain exactly why you have compulsions to do things even when you want to stop doing them. This might include eating too much food, smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, really any kind of behavior that you want to stop doing. Here's the thing, your brain creates your compulsions, but your brain does not know what you know. Your brain knows only what you imagine. So for example, if you know it would be better to quit smoking, but you still imagine that you need cigarettes in order to alleviate stress, your brain is only going to be aware of what you imagine and it's going to think that you still need it. Anything that your brain thinks you need, it will create compulsion for you to do because that's all it knows. Likewise, even if you know that you don't need alcohol and maybe you're drinking too much alcohol, if you imagine that alcohol is the only solution to alleviating stress or coping with something, then your brain is going to create compulsion for it because it thinks you need it. Your brain does not know what you know, it only knows what you imagine. This is actually the key principle that makes up all of your strengths and weaknesses, all of your good and bad habits, and in fact, your entire personality. It's essentially a miscommunication between you and your unconscious mind. It's a disconnect between what you know and what you imagine. The thing that your brain thinks that you need it will create compulsion for so you know why compulsions happen in the next part i'm going to talk about what to do about it hit the follow button and i'll see you soon